Hello again there folks, so I'm, I'm busy working on a, a, another pop culture video but I thought I'd just put that on the back burner for a little bit and get in, uh, throw in me, me tuppence worth on what's been going on in America with the, the shootings, um, specifically the one in El Paso where once again we've got another case of a, a white nationalist uh, as they're calling them, uh, going off a deep end and, and killing a load of innocent people. And what you see is people starting to give their reactions and uh, have their say about it. And it's 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 all kind of sort of bland stuff, I think, because... The, the, and I don't mean that they're sort of not addressing issues, it's that they don't even seem to understand what the issues are. And it's because the, the, the liberal uh, recipe uh, description of people is flawed from the start. And, and what you get is that people looking for solutions within that paradigm to problems which it can't really address because it doesn't understand them. And I thought back on some of the videos that I've been doing recently and they all, a lot of them do seem to have this in common. I mean, if you take the, the video with um, where I'm trying to get at something, um, and if you take the last one I did about the classical music coming back and you say, well, okay, well, the, so the gist of that video was that Europeans, uh, white British people, are becoming more alienated by the more mainstream radio stations uh, because of the, the agendas in it, and then they're going off uh, sort of subconsciously and uh, searching for something which they can identify with, which in this case was classic music. But then you have to ask yourself, why is it that they've got to do that in the first place? Well, they've got to do that in the first place because the, the the mainstream radio stations has become completely toxic. It's full of uh, left-wing messaging and it's very, very diverse. So then you say, OK, so why is it? Why did that happen? And you can go back and you can say, well, we had mass immigration. The, the demographics of the country changed and the, the, the sort of the left then lobbied um the the mainstream broadcasters to have these immigrant descended people um non-white people represented in the media but then you have to go back again and say okay so why did we have mass immigration and you see that we were never asked about that and um, that was forced on us um and on each step of the way you find that the the the, the self-writing mechanism of the society and the concerns of the actual people were never addressed at all. And the idea that this is, we're living in some kind of liberal democracy where what happens in the society will be decided upon, there'll be a general consensus of all of these clued up individuals is, is obviously just complete nonsense. And then the other video that I made was on these girls that go abroad and sort of haul themselves around and it's quite disgusting. How did we get to that? We got to that mainly because of the pill and because of feminism and because big business uh, wanted to have women in the workplace to, because it would double the workforce and what they got out of that was sexual liberation. Uh, again, though, it, it's a case of that at no point could have that, that the society didn't prevent that from happening. Once again, the, the self-writing mechanism of the society was um, sort of sabotaged. Another video would be the Tommy Robinson uh, for Zio nationalism, where it, it's actually, again, people are being misled and trying to sort of understand the world within that paradigm, which is also false. And so you see again and again and again, it's like one problem is being laid on top of another problem. And you, you, the, the fundamental issue um, can't be addressed from within any of those paradigms. And it's as if every time the society uh, tries to right itself in one way or another, if you think of it like a ship with its rudder, 
um, the, the rudder just always seems to be stuck to the direction which leads to chaos and turmoil uh, and uh, madness and the, uh, the, why are these young men you know, these young white men going off the deep end in America uh, well there's the depression part so the uh, suicide rates are through the roof it pretty in Britain as well and I've done a video on that um, and there's no way for them to, to deal with that because it's that these are deep structural problems it happens to be the case where in America all these depressed young white men have access to assault rifles and so they'll take it out on on the immigrants but then again you see we go back to the problem of mass immigration and not being asked about that in the first place so there's something wrong here that it's because every time the, the will of the people in European countries is being thwarted again and again and again and it's no surprise at all that when you ask well okay so what's at the root of all of this problem and you begin to sort of whittle it down and zoom in on what the actual problem is what the gremlin in the engine room actually is or who it is then you find that you're censored um, and you're ostracized and it's seen to be this deep pathological psychological flaw and you have to be cast out of society so once again even at that level we can't address what the problems are and it, it's it's it can't write itself like this the society so I, I don't know how, how this is going to go out because you have all of these people uh, that sort of talking about the symptoms and not the real problem itself. In the case of the, the, the suicides as well, it's also to do with economic problems. All of these problems are, are being uh, sort of forced onto us without any way to deal with them. The, 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 the safety routes have all been blocked off. I've got no doubt that there'll be some sort of campaign to diversify Classic FM. Who owns Classic FM? It's owned by Global. Who owns Global? Uh, guess who? So you, and and uh, you come back to it again and again and again. Um, and I don't see how, why people are creating content which doesn't actually in any way sort of take this on board what they see is the people who are trying to point this out as being part of the problem they have been radicalized and it, the everybody's trapped in this labyrinth and the, the 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 far right takes the blame the most because they are closest to the truth but meanwhile you can skate around all you want talking about um well, we have to bring make them part of the discourse, but that's based on an assumption that the the sort of the centre ground of the discourse um, that 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 mainstream society is having is actually valid, and it isn't. It's the worst of it all because it's completely false, because people don't people aren't able to manifest it properly. So th there will be more of this until we can actually get to the root of the problem. So I'll catch you later, folks.